channel. It's good to see you today. My name is Krista from Plant Lux. Welcome to my home. Today I am going to take you on a tour. So let's get right into it. Let's start right behind me with this gorgeous Monstera. And this is a Monstera Deliciosa. And I just cut the top. I cut two leaves off the top of it because it is getting too big. <laughs> So I recently cut it. And over here on this super cute barrel, this antique barrel, is a Hoya Publa Calyx. They call it a silver splash. There's a lot of beautiful silvery leaves. Really, really pretty. And then over here we have this beautiful Hoya Crimson Queen. And you know the queens because they have the white on the edges of the leaves. And then they have some pink stems. Very pretty. This thing is really gigantic. And I've been really lucky with the, uh, the white leaves. They're lasting, so I find that very refreshing. Oh my goodness, they're so big. This is a big one right here big ones. Really pretty Monstera Peru. Love, love, love the Monstera Peru. The leaves are very textured and crocodile skin looking and they're just so hardy and resilient. It doesn't get a ton of light right here. It's pulled back about probably 15 feet from a south facing window and it barely gets any light. It's doing really well though. A Baltic blue Rifidophora. Very pretty. An Enjoy Pothos. Really pretty, different looking leaves, all kinds of gorgeous leaves. And we have a Hoya Obovada Silver Splash, or maybe it's called a speckle, but really pretty speckly, thick leaves. And another Publicalix Hoya. Uh oh, this I just saw has mealybugs. So we need to move that away over here. I'm gonna make sure there's none on here now, too. Maybe I'm lucky. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, take my breath away. Now I'm all paranoid that the mealy bugs are everywhere. <laughs> okay, this is another Enjoy Pothos. And well, I have a, um, a container of these Monstera uh, Blanchetti eyes just hanging out, real pretty. Uh, they are fresh pop propagation, so I try to keep them here where I know Monstera will do well. And here is a Cebu Blue, very pretty Cebu Blue. I have to trim it. The leaves are very long. Lots of vines here, but it's a very blue, blue one, very pretty. And then here is a philodendron rio. And this is actually has a lot of different sport variegation in it. Because the sport, this is a rio leaf here. And then like this is a sport variegation on this one. And there's so many neat leaves on here that are just unique and really pretty. Anyway, it's really cool. <laughs> Really pretty. Okay. This is an unknown variety of a philodendron. It's very cool the way that it has these crazy legs, but it's very ruby-like at the stem and it's a very dark, kind of thick leaves actually. Um, it's really cool. Anyway, I don't know what kind it is because it didn't come with a name on it, so. Some unknown philodendron species. Down here we have a neon, it's very neon colored. Love that. Pothos, neon pothos. And then here we have a silver satin. 
Actually, no, this is, this is an Exotica. Skinepsis Exotica. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> this is a Peperomia Cascade. Look at how pretty these leaves are. There's some variegation in them too. I don't know if you can see the variegation on the leaves. That's really neat looking. Very cool variegation on there. It's kind of neat. Not very many variegated ones, but there are some. Oh, sorry. I'm crowded back here. This has a couple leaves that need to be taken off. This is another Baltic blue Rosetophora. Is a uh, the Andula pothos that is absent of variegation. These are just the leaves I cut that were not variegated and then I put them in one pot. We'll see what happens. It's an experiment. Have a very beautiful song of India. It's very happy and pretty. It's just kind of going everywhere. So this is the Tri Constellation Monstera. Very pretty. Um, as you can see, the leaves are very gigantic. It is a very big plant. <laughs> and I recently propagated it. There are two propagations in the window and a pink princess that I've chopped so much that it looks ugly, but it's coming back. And then down here, <laughs> I don't know if I can get in there. <laughs> okay, this is a snake plant with big, big whale fin-like leaves. Can you see it? All right, this is a Florida green with some Hoya propagations. These are a couple of orchid, orchids I've got hanging out down here. Um, this beauty is a Philodendron Gloriosum. So pretty. Right here we have a Marble Queen Pothos. I just tried this on a stem, that's why it looks, or on a moss pole. That's why it looked kind of wilty, but it just got put on that pole yesterday. So, all right, and then up there, just go ahead and film, I'll talk. I can't. Woo! This beauty is a Hoya Carnosa Compacta, and I want to show you the peduncles. Look at the pretty peduncles that it has. So pretty. They're like velvety, kind of. Really pretty. Love them. So gorgeous. And then down here, this guy is a um, Egliomima. I think it's called red something, red fire, red. I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen, but really pretty ag, Neonema. This is a gorgeous variety of ag too. This is a pink hybrid, really pretty ag, Neonema. I love this plant, so beautiful. Down here, hanging out in the window, is a Florida green, I believe. It's hard to see it though. Angel wing begonia, just to kind of give you an idea of how big she is. Here's me, I'm 5'5", five five and she's almost to the ceiling. She's very tall, very happy. She does probably need a little bit more light because she hasn't been getting any flowers, but that's okay. Right here, we have a very big, beautiful um, Hoya pink princess. Very pretty. I just changed her soil. Not sure she liked it. A Marble Queen Pothos, very pretty, pretty. 
beautiful leaves. This is a string of bananas. I chopped it. I had a good uh, turnout. I think I made six plants out of that. It was very long. Long and leggy. All right, let's go over here. We have another um, pothos. This is more of a, the variegation is different on this one. I had it in the sun and it still doesn't pop out of this. Um, the leaves are just different. They look like they're just reverting, but they're not. So maybe this is just a sport variegation of some kind. Really pretty. I know I have seen um, Gabby's, they call this kind of variegation the Jacenia type. So I don't know, maybe that's what this is. Anyway, uh, this right here is a very <laughs> interesting looking dog tail cactus. I propagated her quite a bit. So that's why she looks crazy. And then here is a Skinapsis pictus exotica. She's really beautiful. So pretty, the leaves get so big. I propagated her a bunch too. So she's little right now. All right, and here's my, it's funny because I've recently found that these, these stands are great for hanging plants. So why not? So this is a Scandapsis pictus algerius. This is one of my favorite ones. The leaves are just big and it's so pretty. This is a, another Queen Marble Pothos Light Snow Queen. Very beautiful. And this is another one that is, oops, holy moly, Snow Queen. Very beautiful. Okay. Manjula Pothos. Ooh, so pretty. Love those leaves. They're just really neat looking. All right. And then down here in the bottom, Hoya Publicalix Silver Splash. And then this Twisted Lipstick Plant. Really pretty. Very bushy. They get flowers eventually, these ones do. Well, this one will one day, but he hasn't been getting enough sunlight. All right, and then over here, so yeah, just kind of, that way before you move along. So what I do with my rack is because I get such good sunlight in the door, I put it in front of the door. Anyway. It is what it is. Okay. I think if we go behind the door real quick, just take a peek at this one. So obviously there comes a time when I have to close my door and you can see this beauty for all she is. Her, she's a Hoya Bilabada. She loves it over in this corner. Very happy hanging out over there. And my, my poor Rosetta Fora Tetrasperma is it's just, he's hard to keep up with because of his growth rate. So right now he's just falling all over the place because I have to propagate again and trim him um, or fasten to the pole. So he's just kind of everywhere. <laughs> so, you know, I have to pay a little more attention to this guy. So we'll see. <laughs> I think it might need water too. So this is a propagation of the mama here. Um, it started as a small plant and now it's just got to be rather enormous. So I need to find a home for this one. This is a uh, red emerald philodendron uh, or philodendron arabescence. So she needs a home. <laughs> All right, behind me, I have these Taniki plants that I recently purchased. I think I got these at the Home Depot. 
I just love the Taniki rubber trees. They, I just think they're so gorgeous. I love them so much. I just love them. So I want to put these two with my other Taniki that's in my grow garage. Um, and then make a big giant one that I want to put in the corner in the window over here. So that was the plan. We'll see. So this is a Calathea orbifolia. Really pretty. Fun. Mother plants of the red emerald philodendron. And then over here, I have a couple of my Blanchetti eye plants just kind of chilling out. Right here. Big leaves. So these are delicate. The Blanchetti I, I find is very particular about its environment. So I try to grow them inside my house so I can keep a close eye on them. Yeah. This is a very beautiful um, Hoya Exotica, a Hoya Princess Exotica. Believe it or not, um, this was one that I ordered on plantarina.com when Plantarina first opened her um, online store. I ordered this in a four inch pot. So this just goes to show what Jax does to plants because yeah, it's, uh, it's really big and um, it's huge. It's just huge. That's it. I haven't had a peduncle on it, I don't think. I haven't looked. No, I don't think so, not yet. It should be peduncling soon though, I would think. Well, anyway, this is a Dracaena marginata. I've had this plant, I don't know, 20 years, maybe more, I don't know. It's, it's uh, one of the first plants that I had. So he is a big one. Okay. Over here, this is one of my pothos, my golden pothos. It looks like it needs water, you can tell, because look how droopy it is. It got left in the sun and damaged, but it's okay. We're trying to nurse him back to health. Yeah. Over here, another Raphidophora tetrasperma. I think it looks really artsy in this, the background and on this here. I like, I like the way it looks in this corner. I think it looks really nice. I like it there. And then over here, this is in, um, a Monstera adansoniae, but it's a wide form. And you can see how big the leaves are and how different they look. Um, they're just different, really neat. Pretty, very wide. All right, over here, this is the mama plant of the Monstera blanchettii, and I recently propagated her. So I took a lot off the top, where all the big leaves are. And then this is where the cat scratches the, the, uh, the plant. You see that damage there? That's all from the cat, mm. yeah. This is one of my first ones. This was in the plant shop for a while, so you can kind of see this. I don't know how it got in there, but this Syngonium somehow magically appeared in there. It's, it's very funny. This is a um, golden pothos, just hangs out here. And then on top of it, I draped this um, very long, Indexis pictus algerius. So you can see that it's to the floor and it starts way up there. So this is just, this is Taylor's plant, this really long one. 
I've just been draping it so my, my robot vacuumer doesn't vacuum up the plant. <laughs> so, oopsie, if you look, you can see how tall it is in that shot. Very long vining plant. Next to it is a philodendron cordatum, a green one. Ah, oh, it's one of my biggest plants. But the cordatas and obviously the other ones, Taylor's, the Scenopsis pictus. All right, and then next to that is a, um, a philodendron nea, or sorry, philodendron, my bad, a pothos, a philodendron po, er, a pothos neon, a neon pothos. Enjoy pothos right there. And this is a green pothos, a cordatum. And then next to that is a silvery ann. Okay, Scandapsis silveryan. And then this one is a Cordatum. And next to that is a Sea Blue Blue. Nope, my bad, that is not. This is another Cordatum. And then a Sea Blue Blue, Epipronum. And then this is a Philodendron Micans, followed by a Cordatum and then another Sea Blue Blue. So that's my catwalk plant scape. <laughs> I'm guessing it looks like oh uh, there's a hole on the one side but yeah I put my my hanging plants there and then over here this gorgeous beauty here is a philodendron micans very long leggy Beauty, beautiful, and a Scandapsis pictus, Algerius, and he just kind of hangs out over here. Very pretty, love it, love it, love it. That's actually in sphagnum. Get rid of the leaves. Okay. Over here, this beauty is he a recovering. Philodendron Neon. Now this is the Philodendron Neon. Look how neon these leaves are. So pretty. These are brand new. Beauty. Just beautiful. Love how neon leaves look when they're brand new. They're so bright. And then I have a bunch that are just kind of hanging out over here. Um, of this yucca tree. So we have a Philodendron Neon. And we have this Mykins. Beautiful, very happy. And then we have in the back here, which I need to water, I can tell immediately, is this um, Hoya Crimson Princess. This guy right here. I'm gonna water him. I should probably do that soon. Anyway, when, the, when I water this plant, these guys get it too at the same time. Gotta love that. All right, and then in the back there, we have a money tree. I think that's what these are called. Pilea peppermoides. That's what it's called, Pilea peppermoides. And then some Scandepsis pictus propagations, nothing major. But this is the yucca tree. It's getting too big for my house. It's to the ceiling, so. I don't know what we're gonna do with this tree. Don't know. Okay. This right here is a, uh, a Hoya Crimson Queen. Um, rescue my daughter's Hoya Crimson Queen. Very pretty. It looks good there though. Last but not least, over here is a row of Scandapsis um, Exotica propagations. So pretty. Like really, really nice. And I just, they're just hanging out here being decorative. Don't mind my other stuff, my plant care stuff. Just hanging out in this fun little planter that I got at my Goodwill because I liked it. And there it is. All right, that's it, I think. Um, this is the last plant in the kitchen. Oh, we don't want to show all that though, never mind. Um, oh, right here, over here. But try not to look down at any of this crap, and then we're done. Okay. 
Okay, so no, nothing down here, okay? Just stay up. This is one of my pride and joy. This is a Hoya Bella. And it's always peduncling all the time. Always peduncling, this little Bella. She has gotten so big. I've propagated her quite a few times. You didn't even notice that I put that there, did you? Remember, she used to be here. <laughs> this right here is a string of bananas, same from the mother plant that I took earlier, but this one's actually a lot nicer. This was propagated from her. Really cute string of bananas. I just put them in sphagnum. That's it. And then they seem to do their thing. I have a couple of random propagations. This was um, some kind of peperomia, red something, I don't remember. And then string of turtles hanging out, being very turtly. An orchid we got in Hawaii. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Rio propagations and a sport variegation of the philodendron Rio. So yeah. And then, of course, it's proper to put them in a champagne flute. I think that's bad lighting. Can you see it better like that? Because yeah, it looks yellowish, but it's not really yellow. Oh well. Same with this. Is that better? You see a little bit better there. The sport variegation on these is just so interesting. They look Gabby-like. All right, string of turtles, and then Hoya linearis. Hoya linearis. Oopsie, I lost a leaf. Little plant care along the way. This right here is a Hoya Carnosa Compacta, one of the very first propagations my daughter Taylor ever gave me. Yay, it's finally growing. <laughs> oh, over here we have just a <laughs> little, I don't even know what I'm doing with that. Just propagating, I guess. Um, one of the other first propagations Taylor gave me was a Marble Queen Pothos. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today on my fall home tour. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and notification button to be informed when I post new videos. Until the next one, I'll see you guys later.